Please welcome Brian Tyree Henry. I don't know why I feel like I had to bow. You have to bow. That. You I have to I bow. I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry. That is the sign of it's humility. It's a sign of respect. I bow I to bow the applause. To <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Thanks, man. First things first, congratulations on your Tony Award nomination. That is really exciting. That's coming up on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> congratulations. Yeah. It's crazy. That's really exciting. You know, I was thinking, you, you've got a Tony Award nomination, right? You were nominated for an Emmy. Yeah. I mean, sooner or later, you're going to win all of these things. I heard you singing in an episode of This Is Us. Yeah. Like, why not just why not just go into music, be the real paper boy, and then just go for an EGOT? I mean, because, like, I want to stay in my lane a little bit. You know, like, Donald's already taken over the music thing, so right. I don't want to, like, go over there. I was like, I'll just do theater. I'll stay and do theater and let him, like, let them do the music side. Oh, that's nice of you. So I'm a courteous guy. You know this. <laughs> like, I like to share, man. I'm not here to take it all. I am. No. <laughs> Um, let, let's talk a little bit about all the projects that you're doing. That clip that we just saw yeah. is from the new movie Hotel Artemis. Yeah. And in that scene, you are acting with Sterling K. Brown, and we'll chat about that in a moment, okay. but what is, what is the premise of Hotel Artemis? It's, it's a really interesting story. I don't want to give too much away, but, uh, first of all, Jodie Foster. That's, that's one. Right. And, um, uh, so, <laughs> it's a hotel for criminals during a water drought. Right. Which may happen in the near distant future. So, it's set in, uh, 2028. There's a water riot going on, and these criminals, uh, Sterling and I, who are brothers, we get injured, and we have to go to this hotel that is l literally made for criminals. Right. Like you pay a membership, and Jodie Foster plays a nurse that takes care of all of us there, but we're not the only criminals that have checked in. That right. Day, it's, so. it's, it's a really crazy premise. It's and the, insane. The two of you being brothers, funny enough, is, like, the most believable part of the story in terms of a crazy world, because in real life, you two are best friends. Yeah. I didn't know this. Yeah. I've known him for over 11 years. We actually, uh, he went to NYU uh, right. for grad school here. And after I graduated uh, from Yale, I came to New York and started doing theater. And we have been doing, like, plays here uh, ever since. But we never got to act in scenes together. We were always what I call acting adjacent. Yes. So, like, I know he's over there talking, but I'm like, I don't have any scenes with him. But, <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, so we were acting adjacent. So this time we finally got to do this movie where we were like, hey, man, like, let's, let, let, let's... Let's really, like, play brothers. Like, let's really do it. Right. And I can't believe we made it happen. It's still, it's still unbelievable. Yeah, because he, he got you the role on This Is Us, didn't he? Yeah, The man. role that got you nominated for the Emmy. Yeah. That's really... Don't say all that to him. Now he's gonna know that, and he's gonna, like, run around and tell everybody that. Oh, you, you, wanna, you want him to be humble for what... Yes. Oh, okay. I mean, he already won the Emmys. So. Well, you, you got yourself the role on his show through him <laughs> knowing you. you. Trevor. Yes, Thanks. that's how it happened. Uh... <laughs> Uh, but, but, yeah, it's like, when you're acting with somebody that you've known for that long, is it harder to, to change the characters, or do you get into the roles even deeper? No, it, it... Actually, you become more of a jackass, because you're just playing all the time. Right. Like, we're literally... We were there up there playing all the time. There was one moment, man, that, uh... You know, my character gets injured, and I'm laying on the gurney, and, like, he... I just feel this wetness on my mouth. <laughs> and I guess this was his choice to give me mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. <laughs> but he did not... That's not in the script. <laughs> <laughs> So after the director yells cut, I was like, oh yeah, that's what we're gonna do. You're just gonna put your mouth on mine. So right before he yells action, I was like, you have the most tenderest lips I've ever uh, felt. <laughs> and he's like, action, I was like, you can't break now. Like, what are you gonna do? You have to, you have to finish the scene. Right. So, yeah, and now the, the story has taken a completely different It's journey. all new. That'll be the <laughs> sequel. Uh, it was it was a great time, man. We spent a lot of time just playing and joking. And like, I feel like when you have a, a, a chemistry like that with somebody, it's it's infectious on set. Right. So you know, we had just a great time, man. That, like, that's was... something that seems to be a trend wherever you go. You're known for being an affable person who's great to work with. You know, your, your cast members speak about you in such a beautiful way, whether it's in theater, whether it's in uh, TV or movies. Uh, I mean, Atlanta is one of the shows where every single one of us who's a fan of the show feels like we know you and your castmates intimately. We feel like oh. you're a family. Yeah, well... You know, yeah. When, when we see Alfred and the gang hang out, we, we feel like that is a family. I've always wondered this, though. Why do you always refer to him as Alfred and not as Paperboy? Well, because I want I want everyone to be very clear that that's who he is. You know what I'm saying? Paperboy is the persona that's put upon him. That's not... Right. That's not who he is. And, um, I just always want to make sure to remind myself to always check in with Alfred before I check in with Paperboy. Because wow. Paperboy is the one that gets the fame and has all these things, but deep down inside, like, you know, he's still Alfred. He started as Alfred, and I want to make sure that he stays Alfred.
you, you have a lot of roles coming up. I mean, everyone loves you. People are waiting for you to play so any, any role that you want. Stop it, man. I this love is you. True. This You're is like, true. You're like, yeah, man. I love this man <laughs> but so this much. But this is true. <laughs> you, you, are, you are dearly, dearly loved. I am telling you, you this now. Um, are there any roles that you wish you could play? There's got to be, like, dream roles where you go, like, yeah, I've always wanted to play that character. I want to be Bruce Leroy. Bruce Leroy? Do you guys, do any of y'all know the movie The Last like from, Dragon? From way from, back? Like The Last yeah. Dragon. Yeah. Like, I want to be Bruce Leroy. Okay. I think it'll be, no, actually, I want you to be Bruce Leroy and I'd be show enough. Don't get me started. I mean, like, I don't know. Would y'all watch it? Y'all would watch that, right? <laughs> you didn't think about it, Trev. Think about this project and, like, I, I think we can make it happen. You see, and then you wonder why people love you. <laughs> This is what you, you go around giving people movie roles, I just and then you wonder why people I love you. I just want to have a chance to, for me and you to do something together, man. I know we smash it. No, man. It would, it would be great. Thank you so much for being <laughs> on the you, show. Thank you, man. Hotel Artemis will be in theaters June 8th. Brian Tyree Henry, everybody.